guys, it's Audrey, and welcome back to Odd Flux. Today, I got the brilliant idea to go back in time. We're traveling back in time to my childhood, and we are gonna be trying childhood foods, treats, snacks, anything that I had when I was younger that I haven't had for a while. And honestly, I'm like really excited because some of these things, like, I remember eating them so much when I was little, and now I just feel like it's weird. Okay, let me just give you an example. For example, cheese balls. <laughs> like, they were so good when I was younger. They were addicting. Like, my sister and I would like buy the giant jar of them and eat them all, and I haven't had them since I was little. So we're gonna go to the store and pick up stuff like that, bring them back, and then give a little taste test and see if my taste buds have changed. Do I still like the same foods as I did when I was younger? I don't know. Let's go get the stuff. Okay guys, I made it to the grocery store and this video actually is perfect timing because I have to get groceries anyway and I hate grocery shopping. <laughs> I try to get in and out of there as fast as possible so we're killing two birds with one stone right now. But yeah, ta-da. Wow, can you even see? That's the store we're going inside. Um, it's also really sunny out. I feel like I'm like against the backdrop of like white clothingness. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm saying. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna grab our food items. Hopefully I know where they're at because I haven't picked up these items ever. My mom used to pick them up for me when I was a little kid, so I've never shopped for these things myself. We're gonna go find them. We're gonna have a grand old time, bring them back home, bake them up, and eat them. So, let's go inside. I think I found the kids aisle. This has all the snacks that we used to put in our lunch boxes, like we have the cheeses. They have the Ritz crackers up here, and oh, they have goldfish. Like they have all the kids stuff. Go skis. So I'm gonna grab a few of these and put them in my cart. And honestly, I still eat some of these, so I know they're gonna be good. Oh, we have to get these. Oh yes. Wait, which one should we get? We're gonna grab, wait, what? They have an all three pack. Okay, we're grabbing this. We're putting it in the cart. Also guys, another thing I really wanted to get was Uncrustables, but they're peanuts. Like there's peanut butter in them. So I can't, but I know that's like a staple kid left like lunch cafeteria food item. So just now, I know that was a childhood fave, but I can't eat it, so why buy it if I can't eat it? But I'm looking for bagel bites. I really want to get bagel bites because that was that was a big part of my childhood. I love bagel bites. Okay guys, I am back from the grocery store. I got all of my stuff. It is currently dinner time and I waited purposely for this time because I knew I was gonna be hungry. And I have no food left at my apartment, so we're gonna be eating my childhood foods for dinner. <laughs> Woo! All right, so I got a lot of, a lot, a lot of food. So we have a lot to get through and a lot to taste test. But I think the first thing we should try is dun, 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 breakfast because breakfast is the first meal of the day, you know? And for that, I got toaster strudels. Growing up, I ate toaster strudels and Pop-Tarts every single day before I went to school. And I always had the strawberry ones. So that's the one that I got today. And <gasps> it yeeted itself off the plate. We it's kind of weird to be eating a toaster strudel for dinner. This is definitely out of my norm. Okay, we got the frosting on our top toaster strudel. Mmm. <gasps> Still good. So, um, I toasted this. I had to wait though for some other food to get making. So it's not the warmest right now. But it's actually perfect because sometimes when you toast it for too long, it burns your mouth and the filling inside is like molten lava. But this right now tastes good. And usually, I thought I remember like having a cream filling inside. Maybe that's a different kind of toaster strudel. For Pop-Tarts, if I was gonna have a Pop-Tart, I would always break off the side of the Pop-Tart. But with toaster strudels, you can just eat the whole thing. So, we're all right off to a great start. I like this one. Okay guys, we are back and the next thing we are gonna be trying is dun, 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 pizza rolls. So I tried looking for bagel bites at the grocery store because that is actually what I would have as a little kid. I love bagel bites. And this was close enough. We've had this sometimes. So we're gonna be trying this today. They smell really good. I made a lot of them, 
<laughs> but we're not gonna eat them all in this video. I'll probably eat the rest for dinner later. And they just barely came out of the oven, so they're probably gonna be burning hot. Oh yeah, hot, 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 hot. But they're good. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like want to dip it in ranch. But also, I never used to do that. I don't know why. Ranch sounds really good right now. Anyways, flavor on their own, immaculate. 10 out of 10. <laughs> it just tastes like, I don't know, pizza roll. Like, literally like pizza. You're wondering what the inside looks like. If you've never had them before, that's what it looks like. Just like filled with cheese and sauce. So the next thing I have is something I actually never had as a kid, but I think a lot of people did, and it's catered towards kids. So it's called Kid Cuisine. Let me know if you guys had this in the comments down below. It's Spongebob themed and basically it comes with Spongebob character chicken nuggets, a uh, bikini bottom brownie, corn, and um, mac and cheese. And I feel like this is the kid version of a hungry man, which looks the exact same but more fancy. It's just a basic TV, dinner, whatever, microwave. So this is what it looks like. It does not look appetizing at all all though like look at this it smells kind of weird the the corn is like a little bit like soggy i don't know if that's what the word is brownie just looks messed up and it's like like puking into mac and cheese so we're gonna test taste this all right let's start with the corn i always get rid of like the vegetables first that way you like my method to eating is i always get rid of like vegetables first that way i can enjoy the good stuff at the end and that's exactly what I'm gonna do, so. It just tastes like microwavable corn, right? Need some salt, that would definitely help. I mean, it's not the worst, but yeah. I feel like this is not even healthy, and it's corn. Anyways, we're gonna, oh, ooh, what? We're gonna have some of this mac and cheese. By the way, this took like four minutes to make. So very fast student if you want some ideas, college students. Go get yourself some SpongeBob chicken nuggets at the store. <laughs> okay, I don't like the mac and cheese, so alright, brownie, here we go. Oh what? This is the brownie with a piece of corn on it. Lovely. Wow. Mmm. I was a little shocked at first because the initial taste was great. And now it just tastes like chalk, chalk, like, like ugh, chocolate, chalk, chalky chocolate. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Chalky chocolate, chalky chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> now we gotta try the chicken nuggets. This one is shaped like Patrick Star. Wow. I haven't watched SpongeBob in so long, you guys. The only episode I remember from SpongeBob is the one where they're going door to door selling chocolate and they knock on this some random lady's door and she's like, Chocolate? I remember chocolate when I was young. Chocolate! And she's like like this little spiny creature. It's weird. Hmm. A chicken nugget tastes good. I would always dip my chicken nuggets in something though. And this one already has like stuff on the bottom for the mac and cheese, so it's a little soggy. But actually this is the best part of the whole meal. But overall, probably I rate this one a thumbs down. Maybe this is why I didn't have it as a kid, because I didn't like, they weren't good, and so I <laughs> never had them, because they're gross. I don't know. Mm, Alright, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Alright, we are going to be moving on to our snacks next. So, the thing I got was Barnum's Animal Crackers. I haven't had these in ages, and I think the, I've had something similar to it recently, and that was like, the frosted animal crackers that you see that are like white or pink and they have like little sprinkles on them. But like the OG classic animal crackers. What is this? Oh, it's a giraffe. I haven't had these in so long. So here we go. Hmm. Actually not bad. <laughs> so I think, I feel like when I was younger, I wouldn't like these as much because it was it's not very sugary but now they taste really good like I would snack I could finish this whole bag okay this one is a three pack and this is something I would have in my lunchbox at school so we have fruit roll-ups 
fruit by the foot and fruit gushers to try. <sighs> and these, what's the difference between fruit roll-ups and fruit by the foot? Is one just like long and the other one's like, I don't know, wide. Oh, oh, I'm remembering. It's been a while. All right, let's try our fruit gushers. These were a staple snack for me as a little wee child. Oh, I got like so many things in my teeth now that is bugging me. Okay, fruit gushers. So if you guys don't know what this is, basically it's like a little snack. It looks like candy. They're squishy though. You bite into it and there's like filling juice, whatever, inside. And when you bite into it, it squirts out. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try to show you guys this. Yeah, there's like an opening in the middle. So, that's where all the juice is. Hmm. Yeah, but the packets are like this tiny. So you, there's not like a whole lot, but I feel like it's just the right amount, right amount of gushers for your sitting. Honestly, they're just as I remembered. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up because again, I would eat this, so. All right, fruit by the foot and fruit roll-ups. Fruit roll-ups is next. I feel like I'm gonna be fruited out by the end of this. Oh, oh, is it? Is this the one where you like lay it on your tongue and there's like a temporary tattoo or whatever? I think so. It's either that or fruit roll ups. Wait, this is fruit roll ups. Fruit by the foot. I don't know. One of them, I remember when I was younger, they used to have like little patterns on these thingies and you stick it on your tongue and it would transfer to your tongue and you'd have like. I don't know, a dog or whatever on your tongue. So this is what a fruit roll-up looks like. <laughs> like literally. Okay, right, here we go. Actually, let's see if it makes my tongue blue. Uh, I'll have to sit here for. <laughs> it kind of worked. I feel like it would work better if I left it on longer, but okay. Fruity, pretty good. I'm still gonna give it a thumbs up, but I probably won't rebuy this on purpose. All right, and last up, fruit by the foot. Here we go. This one is like in a long roll. So yeah, these were the ones that had the things on them, but not this package. So yeah, you like roll it out or whatever. My sister and I used to always like put it on our time, like pretend we were like lizards, like chameleons, you know? <laughs> but this one's kind of fun because it comes in three different rectangles so you can break them apart. Let me show you. So like, oh, you can rip it apart. Let's taste test it. Hmm, honestly, it tastes very much like the fruit roll up, but sweeter and less potent. I like this one, thumbs up to this one as well. We're doing good so far. Okay guys, cheese balls. Yes, but like what? A little nervous because I I think cheese balls are probably gonna be gross now. But they, I used to love them so much when I was younger. Look how potent orange these are. These are like neon unhealthy orange. Smell cheesy, okay. I don't know how I feel. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like I should be grossed out, but I'm not. And maybe it's because it's a different brand. But like, now I'm realizing why I love them so much as a kid because they're still kind of good. <laughs> Next up is Go Go Squeeze Apple Cinnamon. Guys, every time I eat these, I feel like a little baby because look at the container they come in. Like, but they're so good. I actually kind of still get these, but they're also something I had when I was younger, so. Here we go. Mm. My roommates are also obsessed with these. They also come in many different flavors. This one's apple cinnamon, and on the inside is applesauce, if you guys didn't know already. This is applesauce, and a little tube, so you don't have to scoop it out, you just squeeze it. I actually love this. It's very nicely portable, you don't need a spoon or anything, so 10 out of 10, would recommend. All right, we're moving to candy, Sour Punch Straws. I loved sour things as a kid. Like I would, I could eat Warheads, I could eat Zots. I don't know if you guys know what Zots is. 
Zoths were super good, but they're not usually found here because they're an Italian candy. But I think you can order them on Amazon. Anyways, this is super good because it's sour. But I, I, one time I ate too many of them that it was not good anymore. So I'm wondering if it's still going to be good. And also, whatever you do, don't put them in water to like drink out of them like a straw because it's not that good. Like, you'd think you'd be able to put them in water because they're literally straw shaped. No, just even like this. Well, that is sour. Or I forgot. <laughs> but they're good. <laughs> Wow, so I did get over my my thing of not liking them. Actually, I had the green apple one, so maybe the strawberry ones are better. But they are good. Thumbs up. Next up is Ritz Dip and Go, Ritz Crackers. So I also had this during school lunches, and this is what it looks like. You guys probably have this at home, to be honest. Like, I feel like this is a pretty common childhood food. Um, anyways, they have the, they used to have like a red stick in here that you'd like dip into the cheese to like lay it out, but they don't have that anymore. And also there was like a pretzel kind, and the pretzel kind was the best, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And then they also have an Oreo one with like filling that you dip in. Don't know where that is either, but this is what we're going to do today. Usually it's spread it, but I don't have anything, so. Still good, even though it's artificial cheese. I'm just loving anything cheesy right now, to be honest, so it's kind of a bias, but. Baby bottle pops. Yes, guys. So, this is what it looks like. It looks like a baby bottle. How do you even open this? And, dude, you have to like touch it? Okay. So there's like little um, powder inside. That's the flavoring. It's supposed to be sour, I think. Um, this one's watermelon flavored, so let's try it. And then you like dip it in. And then you just lick it off. Oh, wait. It kind of is sour, but also not. It's just powder that tastes like uh, watermelon. I thought I outgrew this, but now I'm starting to like it again. <laughs> what is going on? I honestly thought half this video I'd be like, ew, I don't like this. But actually, it's not bad. I kind of really like it. Oh, no. Ring Pops. Classic. Same thing. It's just like the classic candy that you always see when you were younger and you wanted your mom to get. They always come in like fun patterns too. Like, look how fun this is. So, well, what is this? Berry Blast. My tongue is gonna be like all different kinds of colors. <laughs> uh, it is really good though. All right, guys, we have four items left. Next up is Hostess Cupcakes. My family would always get this when I was younger and Ding Dongs. I don't know if you guys remember what Ding Dongs were. It's like this without like the filling inside or like the little frosting on top. But we'd have these all the time. So this is what they look like. It's honestly, I think it's by the same company as Twinkies. So it tastes just like a Twinkie, but it's in the shape of a cupcake. So let's try it again. I have so much of this stuff now because they come in like packs of things. So I'm gonna be having these for weeks, but not complaining if it's still good. It's still good. Drink time. So what we have here is Kool-Aid Blasts, Bursts. We have Kool-Aid Bursts. This is what it looks like. I, there's only two flavors, I think. I've only ever seen two flavors, and that was like cherry or blue raspberry. There's like a blue one. So let's open this up. You twist the top off, and then it's like a little Kool-Aid bottle. It's kind of cute. Hmm. Not bad. Tastes like... Kool-Aid, who would have known? It's not super strong though. And I think like when I make Kool-Aid or like hot chocolate, I pour in a lot of powder because I really love strong flavors. So this one's very like mild or like watered down, but it's still good. Guys, next up we have good old classic Lunchables. Oh, uh, like, okay, so the reason why I got the nacho Lunchables is because that's the kind I would eat when I was younger. I would not eat the regular 
cracker kind or the pizza kind. I didn't like those. But the nachos were so delicious. So, I don't know if people usually heat these up. I never did. I kept mine cold all the time. Which is kind of weird now I'm thinking about it because usually I heat up my nacho dip. But this one I don't. So look how tiny the crackers are. The crackers are so tiny. You just dip it in. Mmm. Tastes like how I remember it to be honest. Not the healthiest lunch but thumbs up for this one too. They're just, they're so great. Guys, for dessert we have Dippin' Dots! Except this is called Itty Bits. Cookies and cream. But Dippin' Dots, like basically the same thing. I remember I would get these when I went to like amusement parks or like places where they had them in the machines. I never thought that they sold them at grocery stores, but it was like a treat when your parents bought these because they cost so much in the machine and you only get like a few spoonfuls, so they weren't really worth it. Oh, I think you're supposed to keep them in the freezer. Oh, I kept mine in the fridge. Now that's really soft. All right, let's. Let, I don't have a spoon, so we're just gonna like. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, it's all over. <laughs> I'm just. Mm, mm, mm. I have my fork. Here we go. My fork from chicken nuggets. All right, I'm just gonna. This feels so wrong to spoon stuff with a fork, but it works. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel. Not bad, but I honestly thought they'd taste better than they actually do. Maybe I have to give this one a thumbs down, you guys. Like, I probably would not buy this again. And it doesn't taste horrible, but it's not like I remembered. Like, I thought it was so much more yummy than it actually is. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video of trying out all of my childhood foods. We have so many left. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below if I should do more videos like this. Maybe I'll do a taste testing video and you guys should tell me what foods I should try. That would be fun actually. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and you guys know what time it is. Random Dancing Santa!